Hello and welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you guys decided to stop by and see what I am up to today. If you don't know who I am, I like to call myself the Humble Bumble. And this is because I am pollinating the world with the good news of the gospel. And on this channel, we do it in so many different ways. But whatever way we do it, we always give glory to the real Lord Jesus Christ. Sometimes it's not always pleasant. And also, Belinda, I'm not trying to gossip, but I'm getting ready to lay some truth on you, honey, about something that happened at church last Sunday night. I thought everybody was gone. I was locking the doors, and when I walked to my car, there stands Brother Benny with Miss Tina, and it looked to me like she was handing out some pain pills again, Belinda. Sometimes it's not always easy to take in. Father God, you know my heart, you know my life. I have been praying, my dear God. I have been praying for a husband, my dear God. But I cannot find a breakthrough, dear God. But with this cucumber, I know that a miracle is about to happen. This is an anointed cucumber. It's not just a cucumber, dear Lord. It's an anointed cucumber, dear Lord. But I can promise you that this is a no bully zone. So whatever I do, I never want to bully anyone. Sometimes, I might shock you. This has contaminated religion. Yes. See, a lot of us don't know the impact that imagery has. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. Amen. Gino is absolutely telling the truth here. Jesus didn't leave us with his image because he knew that we would worship it. I remember how I found out about idolatry and I have not talked about this yet on this channel because I learned it from a man that I can't even agree to disagree with. This is not Jesus. That's right. Did you hear what I just said? He ain't Jesus. No. And he sure ain't Jesus. That's right. And that is Gino Jennings. When I was confused, when I was trying to grow for God, when I didn't quite understand how to discern spirits, he sounded like a sound preacher. That's why your churches are so weak. Amen. You're idolatrous. idolatrous. You bow to your preacher. Amen. We bow to God. Amen. You know the Pope's supposed to be coming to Philadelphia. You're going to find people bowing to him. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Amen. If Pope was an apostle like Peter, Amen. Peter said, stand up. Stand up. I'm a man like you. That's right. Stand up. Yes. That's right. Peter, stand up, I said. That's right. Until one day, I found out that he doesn't believe in the Trinity. That's theology. He sounds like he knows what he's talking about. He seems to be legit. But unless you test spirits, you'll fall for a lie. Do we believe in the Trinity, brothers? No. Do we believe in the Trinity? No. Do we believe in the Trinity? No. It's in the Bible. It's not, but it is. And for those who can discern, know that it's there. But he only seems to think that there's one God. This is Gino's church seal. It's confusing because it really could make sense. But know on whom you serve today. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. 
For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. It's so confusing. And I promise you, the good Lord is not the author of confusion. Anyone that have multi-personalities is schizo, you know? That's right. I don't want no schizo God. That's right. Who don't know what he wants to be. And when I watch this man's service, I am all kinds of confused. In so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. So I definitely don't suggest that anyone watch this man if you're tender and you're still a babe in Christ and you're still trying to grow for God. But what I can tell you is that God can still use snakes in the grass like this to help people grow. And he used Gino Jennings that day to help me go down a rabbit hole so that I could grow. I said that's not Jesus. And that's not Jesus either. Go ahead. When I saw him like knock that picture down, it was so shocking. I didn't know how to process it. But I remember that the good Lord had laid it on my heart at that time that I didn't need to get offended right away and I needed to, you know, literally read into things more. And so, like I said, I ended up going down another rabbit hole and I found out that that man that we seem to think is Jesus is not Jesus. I remember I had a picture that I used to keep in my house and after my mom died she gave it to me it was a beautiful drawing of Jesus and it was in a beautiful frame and I remember it was the last thing on the wall anytime that I moved and it was always the first thing on the wall anytime I moved in I thought I was doing the right thing sometimes I would even pray, and I would pray in its direction. Now, many of you have this in your church yeah. and in your house. Yeah. Some of you go and kiss the picture. Yeah. Some of you are bowing yeah. in the name of the Father, yeah. in the name of the Son. Yeah. In the name of whose son is this? Whose son is that? And in my own special way, I thought I was praying to Jesus Christ. I did it with the best of intentions. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes and yet is not washed from their filthiness. Strive to enter in. At the straight gate, for many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. There is a way which seemeth right. And God laid it on my heart so hot and heavy that I had to get rid of it. Humans by nature feel that they must be able to see it, touch it, and feel it in order to really believe. Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. This is not Jesus Christ. If I did it, I know more than likely that you did too. Or maybe you still are. Because that is not Jesus. And he did not 
tell us what he looked like and none of the disciples or anybody could really tell us what he looked like. There is a shroud that they have, but I don't believe it because God didn't leave anything like that here in his image because he knew that people would idolize it. The Shroud of Turin, also known as the Holy Shroud, is really a cloth that people like to say that maybe Jesus was buried in after he was crucified because it bears his image. At least the image that we consider to be Jesus Christ, because here they look quite similar. There are no angels watching after us. We just have to pray to God the Father, and that's why I don't want anything like that in my house, because it promotes idolatry. It's up to us, at the end of the day, to know what Jesus Christ we serve. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to sing a song. Jesus is coming soon. Troublesome times are here, filling men's hearts with fear. Freedom we all hold dear, now is at stake. Humbling our hearts to God, saves from the chastening rod. Seek the way pilgrims trod, Christian awake. Jesus is coming soon, morning or night or noon. Many will reap their doom. The trumpets will sound. And all of the dead shall rise. Righteous meet in the skies. Going where no one dies. Heavenward bound. Troubles will soon be o'er. Happy forevermore, when we meet on that shore, free from all cares. Rising up in the sky, telling this world goodbye, homeward we then shall fly, glory to share. Jesus is coming soon, morning or night or noon. Many will meet their doom, the trumpets will sound. Then all of the dead shall rise, righteous meet in the skies, with going where no one dies. Heavenward bound. Thank you so much for sticking with me. And thank you so much for being a part of what God is doing for me and my ministry. I love each and every one of my subscribers and my new subscribers. I want to thank you so much that someone out there grows for God today and if you haven't would you please consider subscribing and being a part of what God is doing in my ministry I want to tell each and every one of you that I love you I really do from the very bottom of my heart and I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day So much y'all for watching my video see you next week